today we have a 2004 Chevy Impala with a worn out water pump that's right here it's got a bad seal so we have to replace the water pump with this one this is how the water pump will actually look when it's on the engine block and you have one two three four five six seven eight bolts holding it in place four of these bolts are half inch bolts like this now it's important when you replace these this four bolt right here that you wire brush the thread and you apply this sealant compound on it. This is called a Teflon sealer. It's from Permatex. It's a white paste which you apply on the thread and then you will install your water pump. The rest of the bolts are 10 millimeter. You really don't need to put a thread sealer on them because they don't go into the engine block like these. These bolts extend all the way through the engine block into the water jacket. So it's very important that you put a sealer on this thread because when the engine gets hot, you're more likely to get a leak. That's why you need a thread sealer. This is our water pump. Removing the water pump is not that difficult. It's something that should take maybe a half hour to an hour. But this bolt right here is going to be an issue for you. In order to remove this bolt, which is on the back here, all the way by the power steering pulley, you're going to need to remove the power steering pulley or the power steering pump. Now, it's easier to remove the pump because the pump has two half inch bolts, which you can get access through the pulley because you see there are holes in the pulley. You can just slide your half inch socket in and release the two bolts. One bolt is located at a one o'clock position and the other bolt is at a 7 o'clock position. So you will turn your pulley to line it up with the bolt to take the nut out from the power stand pump. Then you will lay the pump back. Then you will get access to this bolt behind the water pump. Once you have all the bolts off, then you can remove your water pump. Now another thing, before you take the belt off by releasing this tensioner, you should release the four eight millimeter bolt that's on the water pump pulley with using this eight millimeter socket and ratchet just release the bolt and then you could take the pulley off and the belt with a 15 millimeter wrench you place it on the tensioner pulley like this and you press back and you'll be able to release take the belt off then you will be able to take off the pulley off the water pump. Now, if you choose to remove the pulley from the power steering pump, which has to be removed to get access to this bolt, you will have to use this tool. This is the tool right here to remove the pulley from the power steering pump. It's two half shafts that goes over like that. And that will go on the pulley to get removed but I don't recommend that you remove the pulley because it's very time consuming it's a lot of work you're better off just releasing the two half millimeter bolt and lay the pulley back another thing when you when you take the battery out you'll have to take out this retainer right here remove your battery cable disconnect your fuse box harness